What's good, YTBC and W Piper? Uh, enjoying my Peterson Oompaw. And uh, you guys know how it goes. When you get something new, you just kind of work it to death. So that's what I'm in the process of doing with this pipe. So today, what I've got loaded up is Samuel Goweth Black Forest. And this is what we're looking like with that. And uh, basically what that is, is a... Um, uh, Black Cavendish and Virginia Blend. And there is a honey topping on this, I believe. Um, but with anything with Samuel Goweth that they put out, it's uh, really good. Now... When you get this, you're going to notice that uh, there's there's quite a bit of sweetness in here, but it's not overly sweet. You know, with the Virginia they got, you can imagine that there's going to be that citrus note and hay. So you're getting citrus and hay, but you're also getting a real nice dose of sweetness from that Cavendish. And, um, but it's not overly sweet. The thing that I would compare this stuff to, and this is going to sound kind of odd, but um, back in the day, I used to when I was a little when I was a little guy, I used to love this particular cereal that was called um, Honeycombs. I don't know if they make it anymore. But do you remember how, if you had it? how there was that sugary, bready kind of flavor to honeycomb. That's that's what this reminds me of. Um, and the, the room note in here is wonderful, you guys. It kind of, that, it sm that Cavendish has a certain room note to it that's very classy and traditional um, associated with uh, pipe smoking. There, back when we could go to the mall and they would have tobacco stores in the mall, um, I can't remember the one store that seemed to be at every mall that sold pipes. Um, that, what was that? Um, the Timber... Oh, the Tinder Box? Is that what the name of it was? Do you remember going to the mall and they would have those tobacco shops in there? And you would walk in there and it would just smell, you know of your idea of what pipe tobacco would be and I think that that smell was really primarily associated with Cavendish um, and uh, that's what that room note is it just smells like you're walking into a nice tobacco store uh, as far as nicotine goes um, to me it's incredibly mild and um, no bite. So really good. Really good blend, you guys. If you can pick you up some Black Forest by Samuel Galloth, I think you'd be very uh, pleasantly surprised with it. Not overly sweet. The, the thing about it is that's interesting to me is the amount of relights because um, it's not overly moist. I mean, Nothing's really sticking in there. It's not like you're getting some kind of Sutliff Barbados plantation or something. Um, but for whatever reasons, it does require some relights. So keep that in consideration as well, which doesn't really bother me too much. It doesn't. Um, I don't have a mind. I don't have any problem with that. So anyways, yeah, really enjoying Peterson right now. I was able to make a trade. Uh, as you guys, some of you guys know, I'm looking to trade off some of my Savinelli's and I was able to make a trade um, for a Peterson last night. And what I'm looking for is the Sherlock Holmes series Peterson's. 
Um, I like the uh, the harp. I think it's called bent harp look um, or the tulip look or anything bent with the P lip. I'm looking to trade off some stuff. I've got, um, I still got a brand new Savin, well, it's not brand new. I've smoked it a few times. Uh, Savinelli 320 KS St. Nicholas that for whatever reason, I just can't agree with on that pipe. I love it. Smokes great, but Um, for whatever reason, uh, that pipe is just, uh, not something I, I enjoy, even though it smokes good and, uh, looks great. So still want to trade that one off and, uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Samuel Goweth, Black Forest. If you guys got some, let me know what you think about it. Or if you're looking for a nice, smooth aromatic that's not overly sweet. I, I hope you guys don't take what I said and think it's going to be too sweet for you guys because it's not. Um, <clears throat> I think it's absolutely perfect. So anyways, let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you on the next one. Blessings.